When a life ends, Brian Simmons' job begins. Annually, we perform about 1,100 cremations. So that's for funeral homes over a 75 mile radius from Springfield. This incinerator cremates three to four bodies a day. Simmons says the machine is almost always working. Over the last couple of years, there's, we've noticed an increase. But since the economy tanked late last year... In six months, I can't say. People in the Midwest, if they're going to bury, they're going to bury. One concern trumps money, distance. Simmons says more people are choosing cremation as their final act because their family is spread across the country. When a death occurs, it's just a little more expedient to have a cremation, and then if they want to send the ashes back to their old home, they can. Still, he says money matters, even when a life ends. People have lost their jobs, and they just don't have the income like they used to. They can't afford what they want to spend. Carver says for a lot of families, it's all in the numbers. The average casket costs around $2,000 compared to the average urn, which costs a little more than 400. And Simmons says the funeral home fees are cheaper, $2,500 for burials and $1,500 for cremations. Well, that's one of the, the reasons people choose cremation, economic concern. Carver says cremation can be tailored to a family's budget. Rather than doing a full service in cremation, they may go with just a cremation and then a memorial service. But as for the myth connecting cremations and recessions, they say death isn't taken that lightly. It's hard to paint it all with one big paintbrush. It's, it's really personal, personal matter.